Since Jason Momoa and Lisa Bonet's recent divorce news, a lot of you have become hopeful again. Yes, Jason and Lisa's split may have been the saddest breakup so far in 2022, but because of Jason's Aquaman co-star, Amber Heard's involvement in the issue, fans are curious about whether Aquaman 2 will get canceled. The DC franchise Aquaman and The Lost Kingdom has been the subject of many, many controversies since Amber Heard and Johnny Depp's ongoing defamation case. You may have remembered that Johnny has been fired twice from his collaborations with Hollywood, the first one being Warner Brothers' Fantastic Beast 3, The Crimes of Grindelwald, and the other one by Walt Disney when they stated that they will cut Johnny Depp and Jack Sparrow's character, for that matter, from the succeeding films and series related to the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise. All this hit and backlash from Hollywood was received by Johnny Depp while Amber Heard was walking free, taking major movie roles. In 2018 alone, when all the defamation ruckus had started, Amber was cast as Queen Mira in one of DC's biggest movies yet. And even after all that has happened between the period of 2019 and 2021, Amber Heard still remains a cast member in the upcoming DC sequel. Because of that, people can't help but question, will the ongoing issues circling around their major cast, will Aquaman The Lost Kingdom be canceled? Well, let's find out in this video. But before anything else, make sure to first hit that subscribe button and smash that notification bell for more updates like this. Now, let's begin. The longtime couple, Jason Momoa and Lisa Bonet, announced recently that they are in the process of divorcing via a joint statement on Momoa's Instagram account. We have all felt the squeeze and changes of these transformational times. A revolution is unfolding and our family is of no exception, feeling and growing from the seismic shifts occurring their message began. And so we share our family news that we are parting ways in marriage. The former couple continued, we share this not because we think it's newsworthy, but so that as we go about our lives, we may do so with dignity and honesty. The love between us carries on, evolving in ways it wishes to be known and lived. We free each other to be who we are learning to become. Our devotion is unwavering to this sacred life and our children. Teaching our children what's possible, living the prayer, may love prevail. In the wake of the news, a lot of people are pointing the finger at Amber Heard, Jason's co-star in Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. When Amber Heard and Johnny Depp met on the set of 2009's The Rum Diary, some fans thought that the two of them started dating in the same way. It doesn't matter what happened between Amber Heard and Jason Momoa. The fact that Momoa is still working with the actress may have led to the breakup, even if nothing else had changed. In addition, even though Heard and Momoa may not have had a romantic relationship, it is possible that Heard has seen a chance. So is Amber Heard to blame for the accident then? At this point, we can only guess. It took a long time to make Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom, which starred both Jason and Amber. In June of last year, the main filming for the sequel started, and director James Wan said that it wrapped an hour before Momoa and Bonet made their statement together. Filming took place over seven months in England, Hawaii, and L.A., a lot of time together in a lot of beautiful places, which is enough to spark another romance, don't you think? Director James Wan gave fans a glimpse into what went on the last day on set as he took it from his social media account. He extended his thanks to the incredible crew as he shared the fun pictures from the sets of the film. Fans now await details about the release and plot of the upcoming sequel, which will also star Dolph Lundgren, Amber Heard, Yahya Abdul-Mateen II, Randall Park, Tamura Morrison, and Nicole Kidman in pivotal roles. However, now that a lot of issues are going on, including Amber Heard's upcoming trial this spring and Jason Momoa's controversial split, fans are wondering, could Aquaman 2 be canceled? Well, for all of you Johnny Depp supporters who have been planning on boycotting the sequel, we don't think the movie will be canceled yet. With its release date scheduled on December 16th, 2022, heavy promotions are yet to start. But again, it's only January of this year. A lot can still happen. With Jason Momoa's recent split and another major character, Amber Heard, facing many challenges and an upcoming trial, Aquaman 2 getting canceled is a clear possibility. Since the movie was a clear hit in 2018, you may be wondering what really is taking the release of the movie so long? Does it have anything to do with Amber Heard? Despite the critical and financial success of 2018's Aquaman, why is the sequel, Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom, which won't arrive in theaters until December 2022, taking so long to come out? Director James Wan's Aquaman, starring Jason Momoa as the titular character, was a home run for the DC Extended Universe. 
Not only did Aquaman receive fairly positive reviews, but it was a box office smash, grossing over $1 billion worldwide and making it the highest grossing film in the DCEU thus far. Because of Aquaman's success, talks of a sequel quickly progressed with Warner Brothers, confirming that sequel and setting the official release date for December 16, 2022. Four years have passed between the release of Aquaman and Aquaman in the Lost Kingdom, which is an unusual gap for a superhero film. However, the other films in the DCEU are partly responsible for the four-year wait. Simply put, there was barely any space for an Aquaman 2 release date. DC has had a crowded release slate over the last two years, with the release of Birds of Prey, Wonder Woman 1984, and The Suicide Squad in 2021, and with The Batman, Black Adam, and The Flash all set for 2022 releases. If Aquaman 2 were to follow the traditional pattern for superhero films, which is usually two to three years, the only logical spot on the calendar would have been December 2020, but that was far too quick of a turnaround for a film that only started shooting recently and relies so heavily on VFX that it takes months to implement and finalize. Besides the congested release slate, Juan's busy schedule also added to the delay of Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. Then, of course, there was the issue of the ongoing global health crisis to contend with, as it was not possible to shoot Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom in 2020 due to worldwide production shutdowns. As long as there's been a four-year gap between Aquaman movies, it might be a good thing. When Juan had more time, he was able to finish his other projects before diving back into the Aquaman world full force. So, yeah, it might be great news for most and sad news for some, but Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom seems to still be hitting the theaters in December this year, no matter what. In the wake of the Johnny Depp and Amber Heard trial, many moviegoers called for Amber to be fired from Aquaman 2 after news of Johnny's departure from the Fantastic Beast and Where to Find Them was announced. In a November 2020 interview with Entertainment Weekly, Amber addressed her role in the sequel. I'm super excited about the amount of fan love and the amount of fan appreciation that Aquaman has acquired and that it has been garnered so much excitement for Aquaman and Mira that it means we'll be coming back. I'm so excited to film that. Despite all the petitions for her to not be in the film, Warner Brothers still defended her side and guess what? Co-star and Aquaman himself, Jason Momoa, defended her too. But there's still the ongoing petition to remove Amber Heard from the film, so we're not yet to know about it in the months to come. Meanwhile, Jason Momoa seems like he's already starting to move on from his most recent marriage after being cited without his wedding ring just a few days ago after the divorce announcement. People reported that the actor was spotted in Los Angeles without his ring a few days after he announced his split from Lisa Bonet. Well, that's all for today. We hope you enjoyed that video, and if you did, make sure to watch our video, All the Major Signs That Point to Jason and Lisa's Divorce. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and smash that notification bell for more episodes.